What's up, homies? Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the only reason you should ever use a debit card. And in today's video, I'm going to let you know why I almost never use my debit card and why you shouldn't either. And before I get into all of that, go ahead and hit that like button for the video, otherwise I might go hungry. Just kidding. I'm always hungry anyway. So the first reason why you shouldn't be using a debit card is because of the opportunity cost. Now you may not think of it this way, but if you were to use a credit card for the same purchase, you'd be getting between one and a half to 5% back. There's so many different credit cards out there that I guarantee you, you can find a credit card that's gonna give you at least one to 1 1.5% back on everything. And then for other things like gas or restaurants or grocery shopping, you could get even more back, like maybe even up to 5% back. Because let's face it, you're gonna spend money anyway, so you might as well be getting some of it back. And of course, live within your means, never spend more than what you're taking in every month, but you are still gonna spend something. To put this into perspective, the average American household is spending $5,102 per month, and your spending might be more or less than that, but I'm gonna run some calculations for you just based off of the average household. So for this, let's assume you're spending the exact average that the American household is. And let's also assume conservatively that you're only getting 1.5% back on all your purchases. If you were to invest that money that you're now saving over the course of 30 years, depending on whether you get a 7 or 9% return, you could be getting back between $90,000 and $130,000 over the course of 30 years. And I know that that may not sound like a lot of money when we're thinking about a 30-year timeline for investing, but this is money that you don't have to do anything to earn. So when you think about it that way, adding an extra ninety dollars to $130,000 to your portfolio by the time you retire is kind of a big deal because you don't have to do anything to get it. So this is just the first reason why instead of using a debit card, I use a credit card. Because again, I know that that doesn't sound like a ton of money, but it adds up over time. And this example assumes that you're going to have the same spending habits for 30 years. But let's get real, you're probably going to end up making more money eventually and then you'll end up spending more money too. So that cash back is going to be even more than that 90 or 130,000. Now the second thing I want to talk about is points. And in this one, I probably won't talk a ton about just because in the future, I'm going to make another video just focused on credit cards and which one gives you the best cash back and which one gives you the most points and how you can spend those. But for right now, just know that some credit cards aren't going to give you cash back in the form of dollars, but in the form of points, which can be good or bad, depending on which company you're with. Now think of credit card points as the currency of Capital One, Bank of America, Chase, Discover, whichever credit card company you're with, or it doesn't even matter, but they probably have a card that gives you back points that can be used to spend at some sort of partner or affiliate company. And this is good because oftentimes those points are more valuable than actual dollars. And oftentimes this bonus can really live up to the name of reward because these are going to be things that you maybe wouldn't have been spending money on like air travel or hotels or clothing purchases that you maybe didn't need but now you can afford because you got to spend those points somewhere and again i'll go into more detail on this in another video but just know that you can travel for free or very close to free if you build up enough points all right this next one is what really makes me angry about debit cards so listen up next let's take a look at liability and by what I mean when I say liability is how much you're liable to pay back if someone either steals your card physically or steals your information digitally. Your information is way safer and you are much more protected when you're using a credit card. So anytime there's a possibility of someone either physically stealing your card or digitally stealing your information or a combination of both, use a credit card. And if you've never gone to a sketchy website and bought anything, then maybe spice up your life a little bit. You gotta live a little, and when you're shopping on those sketchy websites, credit cards are the way to go. So here are the facts. Let's say someone steals your credit card number and makes some sort of fraudulent online purchase. You are not liable at all for that purchase. Now, if they steal your card physically and they swipe that at a gas station or something, you're liable for up to $50 of fraudulent purchases with your credit card. Now, this is the part that's really annoying. If someone steals your debit card information, you are liable for $50 worth of fraudulent purchases if you report your card as stolen or lost within two business days. But if you don't notice within two business days and you report your debit card as lost or stolen within 60 days, you're now liable for up to $500. 
And then here's the part that really sucks. Let's say you haven't checked on your debit card because you don't use it, but someone may have swiped it out of your wallet or taken it while they were visiting your home or, or whatever it may be. If you fail to report your debit card as being either lost or stolen within 60 days, so if you wait till after that two month window, then you are liable for 100% of the fraudulent charges that were made with that card. Which is ridiculous, because if you remember, if someone steals your credit card, you're only liable for up to $50 if they have the physical card or nothing at all if they make online purchases using your credit card number. So that's why credit cards are so much safer. You have way less liability and none of that is gonna come back to you except for maybe $50 if they have your physical credit card. And also, I'll make another video about how to boost your credit score, but just know, if you pay off your balance every month and are only spending within 20% of your credit limit, then you are building your credit score just by your monthly spending. You don't have to do anything extra, you don't have to work with any special company, but you're building your credit just by living your life and paying off your monthly expenses. Here's a few more things about credit cards versus debit cards. When you stay at a hotel, they're gonna charge you once you get there. You pay for the room, but also there's like a security deposit that you're gonna be paying as well. So what the hotel's gonna do is they're gonna put a hold on your account. So they may hold $200 as like a little security deposit in case you trash the room. And they're gonna hold on to that $200 until after you leave the hotel. So you may stay for a week and the whole time they're holding on to that $200. And then after a few days, you know, they know that you didn't trash the room, so they'll send that $200 back to you. But that's ridiculous. Like what if you have some monthly bill or a recurring charge to pay off your car loan or your mortgage or your rent or whatever it is. All of a sudden, you're not gonna have that extra $200 because the hotel was holding that as a security deposit. Don't do that. If you're traveling or if you're in any situation where some company is putting a hold on your account, use your credit card. Spend the bank's money, not your money. Even if with your checking account you have overdraft protection, which really is just saying like, oh, you spent too much money that you don't have? Here, pull it out of your savings account. Like, what a joke. That money's supposed to be in your savings account because you're saving it. With a credit card, you have a designated credit limit and you cannot spend more than that. So don't look at overdraft protection as some reason to use your debit card instead of a credit card. It's not going to help you, it's not a bonus, and it's not a good thing for you to be overdrafting your checking account. Firstly, if you don't have the money, don't spend the money. And a credit card helps you do that because there's only a certain credit limit that you can spend. And I know that some people may say, but Matt, I'm bad with money, I can't control myself. If I have a credit card, I'm just going to go into credit debt. And if that's you, then don't have a debit card either. Cash is always the best. If you don't have the self-control to use a credit card responsibly, then do cash only. Write checks that go straight from your bank account to pay off your rent, and for everything else, just use cash. But being bad with money or irresponsible with a credit card in the past is not an excuse to use a debit card and put your information at risk. If someone gets your card, then they can pull out all of the money. So now we've gotten to the last thing, the only one reason why you should use a debit card. The only reason I ever use a debit card is when I need to pay for something in cash. Like let's say I'm buying something off of Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or whatever it is and I need to pay in cash. Then what I'll do for that is I'll go to the bank, not some sketchy ATM in the middle of nowhere, and then I'll withdraw the cash that I need. With a credit card, you can't necessarily go to a bank or an ATM to withdraw cash. And even if you can, there's probably a fee to do that. So a debit card in that situation and that situation only is good. But for everything else, use a credit card. So guys, that's gonna wrap up the video for today. There's so many people out there who don't understand credit cards and don't understand how they can make their money work for them. But if you did find any value here, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I've got new videos coming out every Tuesday and Thursday and they're gonna be tailored for you. As always, I love you guys and I'll catch you next time.